Okay, guys, back with another episode of comics. I haven't done one in a while, but I'm doing one now. So we're left off. Chronic just got stabbed. Just have to use the cone orb to escape. And the orb was malfunctioning, and it took him to recess lands. And then there's Zane, and he is he also is in the orb, and he's like, "Good, you're here." And he's like, "What?" So there's 20 minutes ago. There's Luke, and he finds Zuri, and he's like, "Zuri, why did you do this? Why did you do the nuke in the good army?" And Krona shows up, and he has a wound in him, and he heals himself. And he's like, Chronic is coming. And then Luke punches her. And the spooder web, Colin's like, I want to find Luke. So he goes over and he finds Luke, and he's like, what? And because he also finds Cronin. And he's and Cronin's healed by now. He's like, you two are worthy to serve the magical great in the good army. He is not, so he kills her. He's like, how do you know about the army? And he's like, how do you know? And he's like, I don't know, I just do. And he's like, you are worthy. And he's like, there are three of you. Find me the third and I'll tell you everything. So there's three worthy people. Um, Luke, Colin, and he says Harrison, he says Luke. So he takes them to come. He's at the orange playground, he's at the walk wall. So he gives them Harrison, he gives them Zeke, and he's like, yes, we're the worthy people. And he's like, no! So he kills them both. And he goes, <coughs> goes to her. And he's like, Zane! So they run past, oh, by the way, they're in they're in the in-between, by the way. That's where Cronin went. They're in the in-between. That's where there's the evil gutter right there by the, there's a relic. And in the grassy lands, they find Zane sitting down with his eyes closed, like meditating or something. And he wakes up, and then he opens his eyes, and he's like, what do you want of me? And he's like, and Luke's like, come now. And he's like, fine. So they go, and Cronin's like, good. He's like, here. And he's like, you are worthy. And it's time for big, long speeches. Three page long speeches. So it's like, this place is outside of a can. The can is a timeline that can only be traveled by worthy people. I created this place as a safe zone. I can only let people... I can only let people in it. What is it? There's a squirrel or a bird or a giant flying right outside my window. Oh, it's gone now. It's scaring me. They seem as a burglar. I set my orb to let my friend Chronic in. The good guy army protects the school from the evil army. The evil army aren't worthy, but they want to be, so they're invading the school. The school teaches worthy people how to use their power. I put people here, because he like he created this entire world, the racist man's world. He's like, I put people here hoping some of them would be worthy, and when I am in danger, I would teach them. I'd teach people how to use their power, and they would help me defeat my enemies. So he's like saying, take the orb and find Chronic. So he gives Zane the orb, and Zane leaves, and in the swings, he finds Chronic, and he's like, you're here.